Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between tungsten inert gas welding or TIG welding and submerged arc welding. Tungsten inert gas welding, formerly known as gas tungsten arc welding, is one arcade welding process where electric arcade is established between a non consumable electrode and the base metals. TIG welding electrode is made of tungsten usually with one or more alloying elements like lanthanum, thorium, cerium zirconium, etc. Submerged arc welding is a fusion welding process based on consumable electrode. Submerged arc welding employs wire electrode that is continuously fed from a spool. So, let's look into the basic differences between tungsten inert gas welding or TIG welding and submerged arc welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1. A non-consumable electrode is used in TIG welding, whereas, a consumable electrode is used in submerged arc welding. Number 2. TIG welding electrode is made of tungsten, with few alloying elements like lanthanum, thorium, cerium, and zirconium. The electrode composition is independent of the components to be joined, whereas, submerged arc welding electrode metal varies widely based on the composition of the components to be joined. Electrodes can be made of ferrous metals, copper alloys, nickel alloys, etc. Number 3. Filler metal, if essential, is required to supply externally by feeding a filler rod into the welding zone in TIG welding, whereas, no separate supply of filler is needed as the electrode itself acts as filler metal in submerged arc welding. Number 4. Filler metal deposition rate is very low in TIG welding, whereas, Submerged dark welding offers significantly high filler metal deposition rate. Number 5. Autogenous welding, joining the components without the filler metal, is feasible by TIG welding, whereas, autogenous welding is not feasible by submerged dark welding as the filler is inherent to this process. Number 6. In TIG welding, the electrode is of short length, around 10 to 20 centimeters. Whereas, submerged arc welding employs very long continuous wire type electrode that is fed from a spool. Number 7. In TIG welding, suitable inert gas, like helium, argon, nitrogen, is supplied from external cylinder for shielding the welding zone. No flux is desired, whereas, in submerged arc welding, shielding is achieved through granular flux that is delivered ahead of the arc. No shielding gas is required. Number 8. In TIG welding, no slag formation occurs on the weld metal owing to the absence of flux, whereas, in submerged arc welding, the flux gets melted due to arc heat and subsequently mixes with oxides and other impurities of the molten weld metal to generate slag. Number 9. TIG welding can be carried out either manually or automatically, whereas, submerged arc welding is mostly carried out automatically through mechanized arrangements. Number 10. In TIG welding, arc length is not adjusted automatically. It must be set or fixed by the welder, whereas, in submerged arc welding, arc length is adjusted automatically without human intervention. Number 11. In TIG welding, the arc and molten metal pool remain exposed and visible from outside, whereas, in submerged arc welding, the arc and molten metal pool remain submerged under thick layers of flux and slag. Thus the arc remains hidden and cannot be seen from outside. Number 12. In TIG welding, equipment and accessories like gas cylinder, hose, etc. are required, whereas, in submerged arc welding, accessories like flux hopper, roller guide, etc. are desired. Number 13. TIG welding has limited depth of penetration, typically a maximum of 3.0 mm per pass, whereas, Submerged dark welding offers significantly higher depth of penetration, up to 10 mm per pass. Number 14. In TIG welding, edge preparation is desired whenever the components have thickness greater than 3.0 mm, whereas, no edge preparation is required for plate thickness of up to of 10 mm in submerged dark welding. Number 15. TIG welding is neither productive nor economic for joining thicker sections. Rather, it is preferred for defect-free reliable joining of thin plates with good appearance, whereas, submerged arc welding is preferred for joining thicker sections in a productive and economic way. Number 16, TIG welding can be applied to any positions, including inclined, vertical, and overhead, whereas, submerged arc welding is particularly suitable for flat horizontal welding position only. 
and difference number 17 the TIG welding process is associated with the risk of tungsten inclusion defect. However, no chance of slag entrapment in this process, whereas, tungsten inclusion defect does not occur in submerged arc welding. However, slag entrapment defect may occur if welding is not carried out properly.